Hello everyone. I recently reviewed the GXL1800 microphone and I found it to be very noisy. Definitely far worse than what the spec says. Well, I decided to get another one and see if my first one was defective. I purchased a second one and I received a microphone that is definitely defective. It sounds like it's shorted out or has some kind of major grounding issue. When I power up my interface with this microphone plugged in, it is just a horrible kind of rumbling humming noise, but extremely loud. And it just immediately pegs the input level of my interface at the maximum to where I'm <laughs> kind of nervous even plugging it back in again to record a little bit to show you what it sounds like. It's terrible. I double checked the wiring of the XLR port. And while it is quite poorly done, it is wired the same as these other two microphones, which seem to have pretty much the same circuit board, or at least the same layout of the circuit board. I also bought another generic microphone to compare to it because it looked nearly identical, but it's only $17. And it turns out that all three are very similar. And yet surprisingly, some of the biggest differences are actually between the two CAD microphones. One of them has a glossier finish with a slightly different logo placement. The internal boards are quite different, and even between the two CAD microphones, the wire colors used are different between the two mics. And even the XLR ports are slightly different, with the first CAD microphone I got and the generic microphone appearing to have the identical jack, with the second CAD microphone I received appearing to have a very slightly different one. The little plastic housing for the capsule is very slightly different on all three of them actually, but the capsule itself at least appears identical. I don't know how much all of these little details really matter in the end, but the takeaway for me is that I still would not recommend the CAD GXL1800. Either both of mine were defective in very different ways, or more likely, only one of them is defective, and the other one is just a noisy microphone. The working CAD microphone has a very similar noise level to the generic microphone. Just thought I'd give a little update since I did try another microphone. These microphones don't punch above their weight, so to speak. They are inexpensive, but they are also noisy and have inconsistent quality. They're cheap, but they're cheap. <laughs> so if you have any questions or if there's any other cheap microphones that you'd like me to test out, let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.